Hey everyone, this is Sushmita and today I am going to show you how I make my Rakt Chandan cold process soap. So let's get started. As a rule, we are going to follow safety first for which I have got my face mask and my gloves on because we are going to be handling something called as lye, also known as sodium hydroxide. So before we can handle lye, I have got my distilled water here which has been pre-measured into the vessel. To this I will be adding sodium hydroxide or lye. All the authentic traditional cold process soaps are made with this chemical. This is sodium hydroxide. This helps to saponify the oils that we are going to be using in the cold process making method. Lye is very very caustic which means that it can heat up to almost 170 degrees Fahrenheit which means that it will release fumes and therefore it is essential for us to wear a mask and also essential for us to wear gloves so that we do not have any spillage happening on our skin or on the face or we do not even inhale the fumes. This can be really really harmful and that is why we have to be very very careful when handling sodium hydroxide. So right now I am checking the temperature, it is at 71 degrees centigrade and this needs to come down to room temperature. Meanwhile for the soap I have taken cocoa butter here and this is what it looks like in the room temperature. And to this butter we are going to be adding coconut oil. So this is one of my favorite oils because it not only helps to make the soap very very cleansing but it also helps to make your skin glow. To this again I am adding my almond oil followed by sunflower oil and palm oil to give us a hard soap and then castor oil for that extra nourishment. So now you know why handmade soaps are extra special thanks to all that skin loving and nourishing ingredients that we are using. So as you can see I have taken a vessel here and this has got some water in it which I am going to be heating. Now the reason why is that is because all the butters and the oils need to come down to the same temperature and once they have melted I will be adding the hero ingredient which is the Rakta Chandan or the red sandalwood and our supporting hero which is the sandalwood powder. So once we have added these powders in all we have got to do is to blend it so well that all of the powder gets mixed into the oils. Okay, so let's go to the next step. I've got my lye water which has been sitting around and resting. So that has come down to room temperature and now I'm adding it to the oils. And once we do that, we are going to be adding our essential oils in this as well. Which is again a mix of rose essential oil blended in with cedar wood oil, vetiver, bergamot and ylang ylang essential oil. And now finally I am going to give it that blend for about 2 minutes before we can go ahead and put it into our soap mold. So here I have got a loaf shaped soap mold into which I am going to be adding in my Rakt Chandan soap batter. So the soap batter comes to a texture called as trace. Trace uh, determines the thickness of the soap batter. At this moment I can see that the soap batter is at a medium trace which is perfect for us to put it in and once we have done that we can go ahead and tap out all the air bubbles which has been trapped when we were pouring into the mold. Now at this stage you can allow your soap batter to rest for about 2-3 to three minutes before it can completely cool down. So in the next step you can just leave your soap like that or you can even give it a completely new character by putting in different designs from the top. So as you can see here I am using a spatula to pull the top this way and you can also erase it and try different designs like this. You can even give it a swirl design with your spatula or you can use any other instrument which has a design of its own that you can just imprint on the top. Now that is done, I am going to allow the soap loaf to sit and relax for about 24 to 48 hours. Because this period is really essential for every tiny bit of oil to be transformed into soap. 24 hours later. 
so it's been almost 24 hours now and this is what my soap looks like uh, the texture from the top is extremely unique i've never had this kind of a texture before and the reason behind this is because there was overheating of the soap that had happened and this happened because of the use of rose vetiver and cedarwood essential oil which not just traced the soap really soon but also overheated the soap this happens and that is because every essential oil is completely unique in its character each time each blend will give you a different kind of a soap and that is the beauty of soap making process anyhow this is what my soap looks like and regardless of its color it smells really amazing and it is also really really soft and moisturizing on the skin so as you can see i'm peeling the soap from the sides of the loaf like this uh, to check whether it is ready so it seems like it is so i'm going to go ahead and unmold the soap so you have to be really 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 very very soft and gentle when you're doing that because you don't want your soap to go through any kind of damage so since this soap is extra moisturizing you can see that the texture is soft at this stage which is okay this is not where the soap making process ends we have to cut these soaps into bars like these and allow them to sit on the rack for at least 30 to 40 days this is where the period of curing is taking place after which the soap will be completely ready to be used curing is extremely essential for the soap so that it can mature and develop all the properties of the ingredients that we have added into the soap so if you are curious to try our rakta chandan soap then you will have to wait because we are going to be releasing it on the 14th of november until then like share and subscribe